So if you are planning to do your MTech and the sole reason to do your MTech is to get a VLSI job, then is it too necessary to do a MTech from a core VLSI branch? I saw many of my friends, my juniors, they are giving up their top IIT seat because they are not getting a VLSI stream there and going for some other colleges. Those could be a good option, but we will deal about those things later video. But is it a good approach? We will discuss about this thing in detail, in depth in this video. And also we will see something about the spot round, which will start very soon. So if this topic excites you, don't forget to press the like button because it helps YouTube to spread it to the more people. So let's get started. Hi new people, I am Razdeep and I did my MTech from IIT Delhi from a non VLSI branch and currently I am working as CAD engineer at Intel. So I am in great position to reveal you those story about the non core VLSI branches. And there is a quick disclaimer before we go more depth that the thing I will share with you are all my own experience. Don't just copy paste into your life. Your life could be different. Use your own sense, your mind before applying my this information here i will be only providing you a different dimension of thinking so if you have done great in your gate exam and you got a vlsi core vlsi in top iits or nits top or bits or iic that it's great you've done a splendid job if you are not into those category of people because those are of top gate ranker and you are taking a non vlsi branch then does it create a too much difference we will see about those courses course structure and how you can manipulate to make your cv as good as a vlsi student but the thing is that for sure you need to do something extra for example if you take a rf course then in a rf mtech course there would be a section of antenna right and probably that is an extra course the VLSI students are not doing that antenna course. So you need to do that antenna course and also the core VLSI courses also to pursue your VLSI dream. So you need to do extra work, extra study hour. But hey, do you don't think antenna is also a part of VLSI circuits? We have our smartphone. This is a good example of the great marvel of vlsi but it have an antenna right it's cheap need to interface with that antenna so if you have some extra knowledge about antenna and you are applying for a rf ic job in qualcomm then don't you think it will put some extra edge to your cv because you know the vlsi things also and rf thing also then if you will say that we won't be going to handle rf courses also and vlsi courses also but hey my dear you don't need to do every vlsi courses there are few courses which are too common and from those questions are asked in the interview only you just need to do those two or three courses and it's all possible and i think it's better also like because i also sometimes feel that it's a great for me that i have not got a vlsi branch i got a rf branch because as i am in rf branch every moment in my mtech career i had a challenge that i need to do something extra i can't sit back laid back and doing nothing i need to do something extra and by which i learned a lot of things from vlsi domain also and from rf domain also and probably that's why i can share my experience with you and contrary i saw many vlsi people because they got a vlsi branch they never pursued anything extra they stick to their vlsi courses only and sometimes they lose to do well there and end up getting no job so if you are in vlsi it's great you also need to keep on studying otherwise there is no guarantee that you will get a great job and that place having a non vlsi mtech branch like signal processing or rf keep you moving because you know you don't have the courses you need to make your cv manually strong doing extra courses and so you keep on pursuing and by this way you also excel in your course and also in vlsi courses in future i'll make a video about how i pursued my mtech days to make my cv stronger and so that i get placed on the first day of iit placement and life is simple you do hard work during gate exam you get a great rank you get vlsi job you did little less hard work you don't get the great rank you come up into rf or some other signal processing job 
and there you do hard work and that VLSI guy if he is or she is not doing the hard work then that guy during their job period they need to do hard work because they they have not learned as much as you learn doing hard work in your RF and signal processing job so equation is simple if you don't want to do hard work during your MTEC time and that's why you want to give up your IIT top IIT seat and go into a core VLSI field for example in some NITs which is also a great option but for now you want to go to a NIT seats because you want a VLSI job and you don't want to pursue other extra thing like uh, taking a elective course from VLSI here and there you just want to stick there then probably if you don't stick to your journey of pursuing your VLSI there then during your job time when you enter to industry there you need to do hard work because you have not learned extra thing or you lose the attitude of doing hard work and don't get demotivated by hard work because I'll be explaining how much hard work you need to do because we'll be exploring those courses of extra align VLSI branches so sometimes if you are a relaxed person or lazy person like me then for you it could be a good thing that that you have not got your VLSI branch and you got some some other branch for example let's go to the IIT Kharagpur RF branch so if I go to their curriculum and uh, yeah it is open there so you can see this is the RF curriculum simple and uh, um, skips but here you can see we have some electives right and if I go to one of the electives then you will see you will see there are many electives right and out of this you can see this one VLSI CAD is it not a VLSI course uh, digital VLSI circuit is it not a VLSI course so so see by manipulating your elective course actually you can learn the VLSI trick and techniques and the skill and also in the core courses if I go here see we have RF and micro wave uh, laboratory okay we should be having something like yeah RF and microwave integrated circuit right and as I and as I phrased the example earlier like if you want to go to uh, Qualcomm or MediaTek who are making communication chip then for them this is extra knowledge they need the engineer need this knowledge right for few of the section to design few of the section and if you go to simple VLSI branch there we don't have these courses so in other sense that VLSI guy also need to do some extra courses from RF section right okay if we go to care uh, this is my uh, branch where from where I did my MTech IIT Delhi RFDT so here also you can see this is the simple encrypts course structure we have care and RF for microwave circuits but if you go to the elective part you can see MOS VLSI mixed signal circuit design wireless communication then uh, there are many things actually CMOS RFIC design man RFIC is the future uh, for 6G circuit for 6G how could you design uh, circuit for 6G 5G without knowing the RFIC LNA uh, uh, your oscillator, your mixer, your power amplifier these are all burning topic today because this is the form factor for, of our mobile phone and it will go more more thinner and for that we need more and more knowledge how to make those design efficient more area efficient so I don't feel like RF or VLSI courses are different they are exactly same and if somebody tell me that should I go to like they are not getting a VLSI job and they asked me okay now what to choose RF or signal processing I would tell them go for RF only but this doesn't mean signal processing people don't have any any uh, scope for signal processing also if we go to uh, which IIT it is, it is IIT Rurki uh, signal processing right so if we go to below these are the electives they have uh, see wireless network again uh, then image processing in computer vision is it not a uh, machine learning uh, like domain of AI right which is again exploding in the future it is already exploding then we have this see, digital VLSI circuit design so again if you do this thing you can can you can go for your VLSI interview also then VLSI digital signal processing again again if you want to make chip for mobile phone 
any communication chip, you need these knowledges. But only one constraint is that uh, communication subject and RF subject have something extra and which are very mathematical subjects. And those base subjects are your EMFT from BTEC, Maxwell equation. Remember, if you can handle Maxwell equation and it is not tough also, guy, you have qualified gate, you know everything, you just need to revise this thing again. Then RF, you can handle RF because CGPA is also important, right? And if you can handle your signal processing, uh, analog digital communication, then you can easily, easily pursue your signal processing. And for signal processing, extra you needed is little bit more logical thinking, more coding is needed because we do signal processing using MATLAB coding. So that's why you can take signal processing. But as a guy like me who loves circuit very much, I would be preferring to go to signal processing. I would be preferring to go to the RF if I'm not getting a VLSI job. But from my branch, like our branch have signal processing also there is there are many people in signal processing and now they are pursuing their job in vlsi in vlsi domain i have also seen one of my my friend who is from core electrical not electronics he did his mtech from power electronics and now he is going to start his journey with intel so guy everything is possible the only emphasis is the, here is that if you are getting a top IIT seat, don't give it up because you need VLSI only. Because uh, many will say no IIT is just overrated blah 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 but hey hey accept the fact. But here again I am not neglecting that other colleges are not good, they are also good. But if you come to the IIT or IIC, if you take IIT and if you do anything, any courses, no issue but you will be called as IITian and if you go abroad then it have a ample of opportunity because you are IIT and this is just a defect of fact there stereotype if you want to pursue your startup funding everything become easy because you are a IITian probably you are hearing from me because I am a IITian and there uh, and there are a lot of benefit and you are losing nothing because you are not doing taking your VLSI seat you are getting a VLSI job also so why should you give up your IIT and tech the simple question right if i am not making any sense please comment it down let me know what you're thinking i'd be happy to know the different dimension you people also see the comment section to know some other direction of thinking this is only my perspective about selecting the mtech branches which is very very much confusing nowadays uh, then again there is a one wonderful uh, course and that are in iit bombay and that is your ssd solid state and this ssd is just the name is different than vlsi it's a vlsi core department only and because its names are different its cutoff also go very very high means high means low score not low but average gate score people also can make into ssd iit bombay in one of my video three series video here and there is maybe coming you can see there i have uh, flushed the ranking gate closing rank required roughly to get into this and there are around 200 rank difference between a core vlsi iit bombay than this but this is exactly same as vlsi branch and if you want to pursue your career in backend which is for me very exciting ssd is the by default choice i would be leaving vlsi to get this one and there again is it the ssd no this is not ssd sorry uh, see the uh, SSD uh, course, you will be seeing VLSI technology, fabrication, everything, solid state devices and then we have electives also and inside electives parts are there, VLSI design, CMOS analog device, oh, oh bro I don't know why they, they are calling it SSD, it could be backend VLSI design MTech. <laughs> So okay, so now the question is that who should go for a spot round, right, if you are getting a VLSI branch there is no story if you are getting RF signal processing take those things if you can handle signal processing signal stuff mathematics maxwell equation RF take them and okay just close your counseling period for this lifetime but if you are not satisfied yet after my story also and you have a backup in some good VLSI branch from a top NITs because we have also CCMT results are, are, are out then I would be suggesting you give up your IIT seat and go for 
the spot round of IITs. Why? Because till now in this fifth round, I am getting some query. Should I take RFDD IIT Delhi or SSD IIT Bombay? So that means they have two choices. They will select one and they will reject another one. And that rejected seat will go to the spot round. But I am again not sure how many seats are there. So you can go only to spot round if you have a backup and you are not obsessed with IIT tag or IIC as I am. You are happy to do your VLSI course from NIT also. And you have that backup because CCMT result, you got a seat there. Then you can give up your seat for this round and go for the another round who's, who's probably our spot round. And all those low gate rankers who are not getting any seats, please go to spot round. For sure, you will get some seat there. So in our next video, we would be having some tricks and tips a gate topper use and we'll be having top grade ranker 28 all india rank so if you are excited and you don't want to miss that session you need to just do one thing and that is like this video and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video bye bye